In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to use the cropping options in the Cut File Manager. And I'll explain that with this job here. So here we have uh, John Smith, President and CEO of some company, and we want to do a um, like a glass etch uh, sign on on the front of his uh, office door, which is all glass. And we're going to actually cut this out and then weed out these letters out of the vinyl and then stick this on as one piece to get the effect that this has been like sandblasted or glass etched. So that's just an effect, a, a very common effect that you see uh, in office buildings, etc. So what we want to do is we want to actually force the position of this cut file onto the vinyl that we're cutting so that it's it, when we go on site and we, we can just position this roughly in the right position and then just trim it off on the job itself. Now on page 3 here I've got a, a more clear example of this sign in the middle of a window for example. I'll just turn our dimension tools on here and as you can see we need to offset this particular example 6 inches and 9 inches from this edge here and this edge here and then when we go on site we can just trim it in position. So to show you how to do that I'll select that object there, the center sign there. I don't want to send the outside because I'm going to trim it on site and I'm not likely to get it perfect so because the door itself might not be square or whatever and it's a lot easier just to cut it out you know roughly in the center and then actually on the job itself I can then uh, trim it all in position. So I'm going to send this to the cut file so I'll come up here I click on send a cut file and it comes up in the cut file manager which I'll just resize for the recording like this. Okay so we can see what we've got here sign in the middle of a window but as you can see the program automatically sets it to the bottom right hand corner and that's no good for us because if I send that to the um, vinyl spooler we can see here that it's just going to cut it out on the very bottom right corner of the um, of the vinyl. We don't want that. We want to actually position this. So what we do is we come up to arrange cut file and we need to tile this to media so it's fitting to the media so we click that check that box on. But we can still see it's not in the position we want. Now we can, whoops, I can select the whole thing and move it around as I want like that. That's fine. But to get it in the right position I need to use these tools here. If I just move this off we, we want to do it 6 and 9 inches. So I'll bring this here. So from this edge to this edge we want that to be 6 inches and from this edge to this edge we want that to be 9 inches. And we just scroll up like that and select our job and we can see it's now positioned where we want it. But if I go to the color separation tab you can see that it's still not forcing that position. If I want to force that position what I need to do here is come to the crop options down here where I can actually set my trim positions. So in this particular case I can hit trim left and trim base. Now I'll just quickly explain what these things do. Trim left that forces the distance to be kept from the left edge of the artwork to the left edge of the tile and trim base that forces the distance to be kept from the bottom edge of the artwork to the base of the tile and trim right obviously as, again would be forces the distance to be kept from the right edge of the artwork to the right edge of the tile and trim top. Trim top's an interesting one because this is really when we have a plotter that has a, um, a capped length or a tile height. In other words old Roland plotters etc would only cut to say 8 feet long so you can actually, for those sort of plotters, those older plotters, you can actually hit trim top as well which forces it from the top edge of the uh, of the height of the tile but more often than not you'd, you wouldn't bother with trim top or trim right. Trim left and trim base they handle 99% of cases and if I come over here to the color separation tab you can see here that it's actually set it and it's forcing it to that position that I've set here in the arrange cut file tab because I've checked these two boxes on. So when I send this to the uh, vinyl spooler now you can now see that it's actually set or offset to the position we want so that when I click cut now and uh, cut that out onto my vinyl it will cut, be cut out into the middle of the piece of the vinyl and I can go and then trim that on the job or position on the job and trim it like that uh, and I've positioned it to the position I need it to be as you can see. So that's how the trim options work. You need to set the, the offsets that you need, the actual physical position using these tools here and then once you've got it in the position you want you then come to crop options and you, you check on trim left and trim base which covers nearly all situations uh, unless you've got a, a, a plotter restricted length plotter and you, ch you check those on uh, and uh, as you can see in the color separation tab it forces the position of where the cut file is going to be actually cut 
when you send it to the uh, vinyl spooler, you can see that it forces its, its position. So that's how the crop and trim tools work together, and that's the end of this lesson.